How to write a Honda CBR1000RR motorcycle key with Obstar. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, your ultimate destination for all things automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. If you're passionate about understanding the inner workings of your vehicle and keeping it in top-notch condition, you're in the right place. From in-depth reviews to step-by-step -step tutorials, we've got it all covered. So, before we dive into today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's get started. To program a Honda CBR1000RR motorcycle key, 93C66, using Obstar devices such as the X300DP Plus with a motorcycle kit, G3, or 70 Malawian Quatches motorcycle key programmer, follow these detailed steps. This guide will help you understand how to use the Obstar tools to read EEPROM data, generate new keys, and write the new EEPROM file back to the IMMO module. Required Equipment Obstar X300DP Plus with Motorcycle Kit, G3, or 70 Malawian Quatches Motorcycle Key Programmer. T001 Programmer, 4 Key Generation. Computer or device to handle EEPROM files. Procedure. Load files. 1. Read EEPROM data. Use the Obstar device to read the EEPROM data from the vehicle's IMMO module. This step should be done through the RFID menu and not the IMMO menu. 2. Save the EEPROM file. Copy the EEPROM file to the following directory on your device. Local backslash home directory backslash DP backslash serial number. 12 digits. Backslash data. 3. Load the EEPROM file. Open the Obstar software interface and click on the Load Files button located in the lower left corner. Navigate to the directory where you saved the EEPROM file and select it. Once the file is selected, the interface will display the name of the loaded data file along with the positions and status of all key transponders. 2. Make keys. 1. Select key position. On the right side of the interface, click on the key window to select the key position you want to generate. Click the Make Keys button to proceed. 2. Connect the P001 programmer. Connect the P001 programmer to the diagnostic equipment. If this is the first time you are using the P001 programmer, it will need a firmware upgrade. Complete the firmware upgrade before proceeding to generate the key. 3. Generate the key. Place the new key into the P001 programmer. Click the OK button to start the key generation process. Wait for the key to be generated successfully. A new EEPROM file will be created simultaneously. 3. Write back files. 1. Save the new EEPROM file. The newly generated EEPROM file will be saved in the original path where the initial EEPROM file was stored. 2. Write the new EEPROM file to the IMMO module. Write the new EEPROM file back to the vehicle's IMMO module using the Obstar device. 3. Test the new key. After writing the new EEPROM file to the IMMO module, the vehicle should be able to start with the new key. Important tips. Power supply. Ensure your device is connected to a stable power supply throughout the process to prevent any interruptions or data corruption. Data backup. Always make a backup of the original EEPROM file before making any modifications. Network connection. Ensure your Obstar device has a stable network connection, especially if it needs to download any updates or instructions. By following these steps, you can successfully write a new key for the Honda CBR1000R motorcycle using Obstar tools. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts or any questions you might have. Your support means the world to me and helps keep this channel going. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with fellow automobile enthusiasts. Together, we can make the world of car diagnostics and programming a bit easier for everyone. Until next time, take care and happy diagnosing.